Todd, Justin Steers is making his second career start for Coppin State. A lot has happened since the first one three years ago. He transferred to Ryder, then back to Coppin State, missing all of last year due to injury. Todd, Jesse Zarzuela for Coppin State has already knocked in three three-pointers. He shot 54% from beyond the arc in junior college, so Coach Juan Dixon knew what he was capable of. Todd, as you said earlier, Jesse Zarzuela is done for the day. You see him there sitting with his right leg elevated on ice. The medical staff told me it is a calf injury. Even though he only played seven minutes, his 13 points were the most for either team in the first half. You move on to Monday against Delaware State. What's the focus heading into that matchup? Us. Focus on having a solid walkthrough tomorrow. Coppin State looking to limit the amount of turnovers because Howard has been taking advantage of those and playing fast basketball there in the first half. Howard came in tonight shooting nearly 38% from three. They're nearly doubling that so far in this contest. Coppin State doing a much better job of forcing Howard off of the three-point line under pressure. The Bison have not been able to make shots there. Kyle Cardacy for Coppin State has been hot from three. That's why Juan Dixon put him in the start lineup and certainly the Eagles are reaping the benefits we talked about that great outside shooting for Howard how about at the line the Bison have only missed one free throw could be key as Coppin State starts to chip away here you had a really productive day what are your takeaways man I'm just so excited that we can be out here and get the win I feel like you know everybody contributed today and that's what makes this win so special